You're going to leave her to keep going. Yeah. Now. Yeah, that's it. Now walk up. Good. Okay, now just step away from the sheep to this side. Lie down. Okay. I just wanted you to leave this. She's moving your sheep. So call her up. Call her up. This way. This way, Dottie. Come this way with the dog. Bring her up. I'll come this way. Okay, now lie her down. Now you come over here. Over here. Now you're going to give her the inside flank on the thumb by side. And then you're going to blow that whistle when you want it to start going down there. Okay? Go ahead. <laughs> Don't follow me. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty. We use these ones to teach the skills because they're very tight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Half the time running away from your dog. But you teach the skills first, then go to more difficult sheep, right? Yeah. So these give you time to work on the skills because they very they don't really go yeah. very far they just stand around. Okay. So if these sheep were running all over the place, the dog would be anxious about ah. listening to your new skill because she's worried about the sheep running off of her, running away from her, right? Mm -hmm. So you need sheep that don't go nowhere, so the dog doesn't worry about that. So you can they'll be willing to listen to you. But the sheep the sheep get. She needs a little lie down and a little away. Just go in there lie anyway. Down. Now stop her right there. Now walk her up. Walk up. Stop her. Lie down. Let her drift. Walk up. Walk up. Now stop her. Okay, now you want an inside flank to the come by side. Lie down. Too slow. Okay, gonna have to get her head off of that. Come by. Come by. Hey. Come by. Lie down. Yes. Yippee. Come by. Good. Now. A bit late there. Hey. So these inside flanks are for your driving so when you're standing at the post and you have to drive out to some panels and go through panels and then drive the sheep across the field in front of you and through two more panels and back to you these are the flanks the guiding steering wheel a little bit to the left a little bit to the right that enables you to take the sheep onto lines to get them through those panels so if you can't move those that dog in front of you back and forward behind the sheep to adjust your sheep you're not going to make your panels Okay, the sheep are going to wander where they want to go and sheep never walk in a straight line ever because they can't see behind them so for safety sheep miranda to the left so they can see here and then they miranda to the left so they can see there and they miranda to the right so they very rarely ever go in a straight line so then when we're told right go in a straight line to that panel and they don't want you two feet that side or two feet that side or you're losing points you have to be dead straight online because the person that can do that, they have to leave room for a person in scoring. They have to deduct points from you, because if they don't, they haven't left any room for the person that can hold the line of sheep and hold them on a dead straight line. Does that make sense? So, so it's not enough just to get it through. Um, you have to get them off. Mm -hmm. And the one going across, they have to be on the line to the next panel, to the center of the panel. Mm. So if they're high, and they go up near one of the wings of that panel and then come through, you've lost all the points getting to that panel. So each leg has about point value to it, right? And those, some judges are nice to say one, you know, 10, okay, we got 20 points, we'll do five, 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 and five, or something like that, or, or you know, six, six, or six, or something, and a couple, or whatever. Um, other judges will say, I'm gonna deduct, I might deduct the full 20 for here if you're offline. Like I'll just keep hitting you until you show me you're making an effort to go back online. 
So your your sight, your eyes have to be really good at anticipating when the sheep are going to start stepping off because that's what he's looking for. He's watching the heads of the sheep. And every time the heads go left and your dog has to move, he's taking points off. Because you shouldn't have to move your dog for going in a straight line. <laughs> okay. Right? If you're so. on a pretty straight course going to that pan on your dog's holding that line, the sheep wouldn't be going left and right. On the pressure of his stop. Mm -hmm. A lot of command. Mm -hmm. That's is what he's dog, looking for. Is the dog allowed to move around if you're not getting into the time? Does the dog make sure that they know what to do to get them to go straight? They get, they get to know if, they, if they're good at holding pressure. They get to know if you set them on the line, they just keep going. So if we set them on the line going down this field, my, my good dogs would just take them dead straight. Because they get on the pressure, you whistle them on forward. You're not so there, is a, there is a way. To yeah, there is. That's, one way to be that's that right. That's right. Oh, that's that's right. Hmm. And that's what makes nursery so difficult is because this is such a high end skill. To get young dogs to do it at such an early age is very hard. And so the ones that can do it are elite dogs. And so they're a little bit more cost as the elitist type dogs. So there's only usually 150 to 180 of those dogs in the whole of North America under the age of three that can run at that level that we're trying to get Jiffy trained up to, my dog's trained up to for next year. Dorothy can run novice, I can't run a novice. So she can she can run in novice class and also run Jiffy in the nursery if she's ready. Um, as long as she's got to have her driving down, she's got to be able to move that dog around the clock anywhere, which way, here, there, everywhere, and the dog's got to do what she has. So that was good. So that one she took, she asked her to go the other way. And then they've got to be on whistles as well, right? So Because you can't, at 200, 150 yard drive, you, the dog can't hear you that well in your voice. Right? And it's, the whistle gets in faster than the voice gets. So because of the wind. Lighthouse! 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 So she's asking for that way and the dog's taking this way. So. Dog's, dog's made up her mind she's going this way and although Dorothy's stopping her to, when she goes that way to tell her you're, that's her correction for you going the wrong way and repeating that command the dog's saying well two more steps and I could just have them turn to you so because their instinct is to bring the sheep not take them away from you and so you're fighting instinct you're overriding instinct when you take them away from you because the whole dog's job is to go on the hill and bring the sheep to the park, right? and to gather all the sheep in and bring them back to you Okay, that's the dog's instinct. You know, there's no instinct in taking sheep away from you. And so that you have to train into the dog. So they start to understand it's also a job I need you to do. Not just bring them, but I need you to take them the next mile down the road. I need you to push them all down there as well, not just bring them back to you. Otherwise, if you had a thousand sheep, you'd be spending a lot of time trying to move them around. <laughs> they just keep bringing them. Mm. Lie down. Lie down. I get him in there and start like, I'm going to do it Like, I get it going. And then it's sort of launch. I get it going. I'm going to get him out of there now. <laughs> now put him in there.
Jim, 